Hey everyone, Shaman here and welcome back to another video showcasing another SBC here on FIFA 20's Ultimate Team. Today we're looking at Bernardo Silva's Player Moments card. Now this card looks very, very good. Probably the best right winger you can possibly get in the Premiership at this point in time. Um, pretty good attacking stats, 90 pace, 96 dribbling, 86 shooting, 89 passing. Not great defensively, but you wouldn't really want him anyway. And 73 physical means he shouldn't get barged with the ball that easily. The only worry I see here is with a freestyle weak foot, you would like it to be a bit higher. It's not a, a massive problem, but um, if it was high, that would be a lot better. And of course, he has four star skill moves as well. Let's look fully into his stats. Is anything really outstanding? His balance is 96. His agility is 98. Great ball control at 96 as well. So it looks like he probably will be incredibly good on the ball. Um, it's going to be very, very difficult to get that ball away from him with that acceleration of 94 as well. Sprint speed is not as high, only at 86, so it might take him a bit of a... He might get caught by some of the quicker defenders, but he should be okay. Stamina of 99 is absolutely incredible. A great attacking position as well, so we should always be in the right place for the right pass. So, looks like a very good player, but what do you need to do to get a hold of this player? That's the question. You need to cash in three teams. 185 rated team with a Man City player. 185 rated team with one Man City player. No, one Premiership player, should I say, sorry. And a Team of the Week player. And then finally, 187 rated team. You get a Prime Gold Players Pack, a Premium Gold Players Pack, and a Rare Electrum Players Pack as well. Now, looking at Footbin, this should cost you uh, a roughly 375,000 coins. Now, is that worth it? Possibly for a 91 rated player in the Premiership on the right wing, uh, the best in that position in that league, it could be very much worth it. But let's have a look at the alternatives and see what else you can get for your money. So first of all, we'll look at uh, Mohamed Salah, 150k for a 90 rated card. So one rating less, but good pace, good dribbling, good shooting, good passing. Pretty similar stats, not quite as high as a Bernardo card. Um, but less than half the price. So that sort of shows that um, you can get a lot for your money if that's what you wish to do. If you're happy to go a bit lower down and you need a Man City link, you do have Raheem Sterling there. 93 pace as well, 89 dribbling. So again, fantastic up and down that line. Not quite as high passing and shooting, um, but still a very, very good play and only at 70k. You can upgrade and go for the slightly higher Sterling, about 150k for an 89 rated version. Um, I don't know where it's really worth the extra 100k just for the plus one on every stat, but that's your choice to make, I suppose. Also, if you've got a bit more coinage to spend, you could go all out for Luis Figo, 90 rated icon card, of course, links with everybody. Um, of course, costs uh, about double, no, probably not double actually, uh, close to double um, of what the Bernardo card would cost, but uh, of course, he links to everyone and he's an icon, you know. There's also 87 rated JJ Kotcher for 165k. Not the best of all the icons, to be honest, but um, for the money, it's quite cheap compared. So, I, I don't know, I, I would be tempted maybe to go for Mo Salah, to be honest with you. I think that might be the best spend of money. Um, like I said, it's going to be about 220k cheaper to go for Mo Salah. I mean, you could buy, just for example, you could buy Salah and Sterling and still have 175k change or you could even buy a Kotcha and Salah for roughly the same price as it would cost to do that Bernardo Silva so there is a lot more you can get for your money it is a very nice card if you're a big Bernardo Silva fan or you're a Manchester City fan it is something that you could look at doing but me personally I don't think it's what I'm going to be doing however the foot bin uh, guys over there do the voting what they're looking at at the moment, they are giving it a 55% upvote and a 45% downvote. So it's actually one of the only SBCs of the season where it actually has more positive than negative reviews. But if he fits in your team, then go for it. If he's someone you really want, then go for it. But if it's someone that is not necessarily going to be your first choice, then there's no point in spending the coins. Just like all of these SBCs, really. There's no real point of spending it unless he's going to go straight in your team and improve your team. However, like I said, if you're looking to keep a hold of your coins or you're looking to invest in several positions, Mo Salah 90 rated for 220k less, I think could be a much better option in my opinion. But 
Like I said, I'm not telling you what to do. It's all up to you. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Do you believe this Bernardo Silva is worth the coins? Uh, is it something you're going to be doing or is it one you'll be steering clear of? And uh, let me know why as well. Of course, I might be completely wrong. This is just my opinion, but I've been caught out by some terrible SBCs in the past. So I also depend on your guys telling me what you think the best option is to do. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you would like to see some more as we continue working through all of these SBCs here on FIFA 20. Bye.